6th grade, Module 6, Lesson 14, Classwork. A box plot is a graph that is used to summarize a data distribution. What does the dog box plot tell us about the data distribution? How does the box plot indicate the variability of the data distribution? These questions are explored in this lesson. Example 1, time to get to school. Consider the statistical question, what is the typical amount of time it takes for a person in your class to get to school? The amount of time it takes to get to school in the morning varies for the students in your class. Take a minute to answer the following questions. Your class will use this information to create a dot plot. Write your name and an estimate of the number of minutes it took you to get to school today on a sticky note. Okay, so what you're going to do is write your name. I'm going to pretend that this paper is my sticky note. So my name is Erin, and it took me... Um, when I was a teacher, it would take me about 20 minutes to get to school from the time I got in my car to driving down the highway and getting off the exit and getting into the school parking lot. It took me about 20 minutes to get to school. So you write how long it takes you to get to school. Maybe your mom takes you. Um, maybe you ride with a neighbor. Maybe you take the bus. Maybe you're a walker. Uh, different ways to get to school. So write down that, and then what are some of the things that you had to think about when you made your estimate? So maybe sometimes there's traffic, maybe sometimes the bus is late, maybe um, it was snowing so you had to walk, so maybe weather. So there are different things that could make your um, estimate vary. Example exercises one through four. Here's a dot plot of the estimate of the times it took students in Mr. S's class to get to school one morning. One, put a line on the dot plot that you think separates the times into two groups. One group representing the longer times and the other group representing the shorter times. So we're just gonna put a line where we think the midway point may be. So we have something all the way over here at 60 and five. So where do I think the middle is? Um, I think the middle is gonna be somewhere Maybe around here. And yours could be different, but I think that's about the middle or where the median might be. Number two, put another line in the dot plot that separates out the times for students who live really close to school and another line that separates the students that take a long, very long time to get to school. So now I'm going to do two more. One for this side, so finding a middle of the one that takes a long time or a short time. Maybe go right there and one that separates the people who take a long time to get to school so that one's gonna be more like maybe here again not a right or wrong answer you're just estimating so those are gonna represent my different um, quartiles quartile one and quartile three three your dot plot should now be divided into four sections which ours is we have one two three four sections Record the number of data and va values in each of the four sections. So we're just going to record the data on the divisions. It can be different based on where you put your lines, but I'm going to say in the lower, actually let's just say, let's label the quartile. So in quartile one, quartile two, quartile three and quartile four, how many we have in each section, how many data points. So quartile one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Quartile two, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quartile three, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And quartile four, I had three. Yours could be different, but probably around the same amount. Share your marked up dot plot with some of your classmates. Compare how each of you divided the plot into four sections. So you're just gonna compare it with someone next to you, or if you're doing this at home by yourself, then go ahead and skip that. So you don't have anyone to compare it with, or you can just compare it with mine. Number exercises five through seven, time to get to school. The time in minutes for the students in Mr. S's class have been put in order from smallest to largest and are shown below. 
What is the value of the median time to get to school for the students in Mr. S's class? Okay, so really convenient. They've gone ahead and put it in order from smallest to largest. So I think that's honestly the hardest part sometimes is getting all these numbers in order. So they've already done it for us. Love that. So let's just find the median. So what I'm gonna do is just cross off three on each side, three on the left, three on the right, and then keep going. Okay, so now that I'm getting close to the middle, I'm just gonna do one, one. So my median is 15. What is the value of the lower quartile and the upper quartile? So here's the lower quartile, here's the upper quartile. So let's start over. I'm gonna do two on the left, two on the right. We get eight, so lower quartile Eight and upper quartile is 25. So another way you could do it is you can count how many there are, divide by two, and then find the middle one. So that's the other math. If you want to do it a different strategy, but I like, I just find crossing it out easier and a better way to think about it visually as well so different ways to do it number seven the lines on the dot plot below indicate the indication of the median the lower quartile and the upper quartile these lines divide the data set into four parts about what fraction of the data values are in each part so it's saying we have four parts quartile one quartile two quartile three and quartile four, four parts. So about what fraction of the data values are in each part? So it's divided into four parts, so they're each about a fourth of the data. Keyword being about. Um, it's not exact. Now it's saying about what fraction of the data values are in each part. I'm gonna be honest, the answer key here says, and I always look at the answer key to make sure I'm doing this right for you guys, the answer key says there are about three fourths of the data values in, e in each part, but I don't, I don't really understand that. Um, I don't think there are three fourths in each part. To me, what I'm seeing is a fourth in each part. So I could be wrong, but I'm gonna go against the answer key and say that there is about a fourth, about one fourth of the data values in each part but I have been wrong before and I will be wrong again. So if the answer is in fact three fourths and you know why, go ahead and comment down below and teach us all about this question. But I think it's one fourth, but feel free to correct me. All right, moving on. Example two, making a box plot. A box plot is a graph made using the following five numbers. The smallest value in the data set the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the largest value in the data set. So this is a culmination of everything we've been working on the last few lessons. The reason why we've been finding the lower quartile, the upper quartile, the median, and we're gonna put it all together, make a box plot, okay? So to make a box plot, we find the median, we know how to do that. We find Q1 and Q3, we know how to do that. We draw the number line and draw a box plot that goes from Q1 to Q3. So that's what this box is, going from Q1 right here to Q3 right here, median right there. This is the minimum, this is the maximum. So that's how you end up with that graph. Then you draw a line segment connecting the minimum value to the box and the maximum value to the box. So that is your box plot. So let's go ahead and put it together and make our end. Now use the given number line to make a box plot of the data below. 
So it gave us this little key over here to help us out. So our minimum is 20 and our max is 44. So let's start with there. So our minimum is gonna be 20 and our max is gonna be 44. So it's right about there. Now let's find our median. Is 35 so our median I'm gonna draw a line at 35 and then we can find quartile 1 and quartile 3 so quartile 1 is gonna be in between 21 and 25 which would be 23 and quartile 3 will be between 40 and 42 or 41 so we have 23 and 41. 23 is about right there. Oops, I used the wrong color. 23, 41. Now let's just draw, make it a box. And then we just connect minimum and the maximum to the box. So there is our box plot. Exercises 8 through 11, a human box plot. Consider again the sticky note. Actually, I think this is one that you're going to have to do as a class. So you, possible you and your classmates form a human box plot in the minutes it takes you and your class get to school. So going back to your sticky note, this is something you'll do as a class and good luck.